What is up guys? Uh, just a quick, not a quick video, but um, I'm getting my rotating assembly balanced. So before these parts get, um, you know, scruffed up or anything, I want to show you what I'm actually going to be sending to my machinist to get everything balanced. So first up, we're going to go ahead and look over the new clutch assembly, clutch kit that I've got that I'm going to be using on this car. And we're also going to be looking at my dampener and then the crank and pistons and yada yada so without further ado let's go ahead and uh, get these things unboxed and show you what we got so package number one we actually have from mr tim zimmer himself he after you know much talking to him and um just explaining what i expect out of the car and what i want from the car he recommended to go with his south bend um, clutch kit, the SSX TZ. So this means um, it is the higher step up of a pressure plate, but it's still using the Kevlar um, disc. So let me get this out real quick. Let's put it right here. Okay, this is heavy still. <laughs> so, we have, like I said, the SSX um, pressure plate. This is, I think, one or two steps up their original SS plate, which is the one everyone likes to use because <clears throat> it has such a stock um, pedal feel. And I wanted that, but he, he recommended that if I'm going to be, you know, launching the car and whatnot, he said... Just go with a higher pressure plate so you won't glaze um, the, the face of it. And it will still have a semi-stock pressure plate. I mean, fresh, a semi-stock pedal feel. So, I mean, really, I didn't care. Because that comp, um, stage 3, that I had on the Evo, that one was pretty rough. But I like that one still, so let me just show you what we got. So right here, we have all three pieces. So here's the pressure plate. Here is the Kevlar disc with, you know, six springs. I don't even know what these are. Instead of four, I did snap the, f I think the four are weaker because, you know, it's less, um, it's more pressure and torque forced on um, fewer springs than, you know, disperse over six. So I do not like sprung hubs when they come in for uh, the six that I use on the Evo. And this one will handle power. So I'm glad to report that. And there's also great success of people making high horsepower and torque with these clutch kits that I'm going to be using. Um, he said these will handle anywhere. I th actually like they they recommend. You know, they have a set given torque that these things will handle. But so far, we've seen people hit close to seven hundred with these without any issues. So again, I'm no I'm not going to be making anywhere near that. So I'm sure this will do fine. And then we have our competition clutch um, lighting flywheel. And again. These are, this is all brand new, so if you are going to run this um, clutch disc, he recommends that you actually get both surfaces media blasted. So I don't know if you can see, it's not like shiny and smooth the way um, normally pressure plates and flywheels come by. He actually does something to these both faces, so it will actually improve the break-in and bed in the material to both of these services so longevity of the clutch will will be there so here you go this is a new clutch setup on my car um competition light and flywheel kevlar disc and then the ssx pressure plate and now for the dampener we have our fluid dampener well before i go there let's go ahead and go over here 
So, this is an OEM 6 bolt. I mean, no, actually, they're all the same. So, OEM Mitsubishi dampener from Mitsubishi. And a common problem with these dampeners is that these things will actually sensor it's it's metal rubber metal this metal ring around it will actually start to crack over you know long period of time and i don't know if you can see it okay not on this side but you can definitely see it in the back that mine is starting to split and when i saw this when i was disassembling my car i was like shoot um better better fix this before it gets worse you know there's actually been cases where this does split and things just bad things just happen so let's go ahead and uh compare these two so that to this hold on real quick and here is the new year we have our fluid dampener, high performance harmonic dampener. Made in the USA. This is all one piece billet. I'm not sure what billet, aluminum, billet, steel, something like that. Anyways, what I like about this is that, again, it's one piece, so you will never have issues of this splitting on your car. And this is really heavy. It actually has fluid in here to absorb the vibrations that um, are caused inside the motor. And for comparison, I just want to go ahead and uh, weigh these two. So, here we got our scale. This is a stock Mitsubishi one. We have 5.6 pounds. Let's check the fluid dampener. We have 7.6. So, yeah, increasing weight, but I believe it's, this is going to do a way better job than what the OEM Mitsubishi one did. So, that's that. Let's go ahead and uh, get this package all up again and take it to the machine shop to get all this balanced. All right, guys, we are here at Revco Precision Balancing and Special Machinery. I've brought all my stuff to them, so I'm not sure if they're going to need flywheel bolts and the pressure plate bolts but i brought those just in case so here we also have my um eagle rods wisco 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 pistons um the clutch dampener and then we have my crank and one thing to note i didn't say in the last video but these actually cannot get balanced you cannot balance um aftermarket fluid dampener or ATI so um, he is just gonna check if it works and it's doing its job properly so there's nothing gonna be balanced from this just letting you guys know but everything else should get balanced so let's go ahead and take everything inside and see what he says all right guys so we're back here at Revco machining we're gonna go pick up my rotating assembly and hopefully everything was able to get balanced and no problems were found. After this, we're gonna go take my crank to crank and block and piston rings to a machine shop to get everything um, filed down, rehoned, and polished so the final assembly can be uh, finally done. And pretty much after that, I'm just waiting on the head to be done, which is also getting worked on, and we should have a motor pretty soon. So. Fingers crossed, but uh, we're almost there at the end of the light. So let's go inside and go get our stuff. Except you had one new rod, right? Was this one? No, this was the other one. Okay, good. Um, it doesn't. They don't have to go in that cylinder balance. Okay, but I, those are the ones. Yeah, I just marked them so you can put them back on the same. Okay, same sure. Rod and the, 
locks I took out are right there. Great. Everything, those are reusable? Yeah. You think? Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Yeah. And then, yeah, the dent we just had the, just got the, um, the ring. So you must have the other. Yeah, I have, yeah. I know what you were talking about. Okay. That. Yeah, I have that. Okay, so we have everything ready to go. What we can see is that total piston weight and rod weight are here. Um, this is where he, you can tell he removed some weight at the actual rod connection to the piston. That's where he grounded weight. He did, like you said, label them for me which goes with what as for the crank we have two new markings right there and clutch we can see that he added some weight right there and took off some weight at the flywheel back here but now I can rest assured that this thing is nice and balance and I won't have any nasty vibrations when I'm running this motor so all said and done very happy with his work only $90 with paperwork to approve it and I will definitely come back to him again so let's go ahead and uh, take this to the machine shop and get moving along on this build